Hey guys, welcome back to the week here on my channel. Hello, my name is Spiff, and if you're new to my channel, what's up? Welcome to the family. For today's video, I wanted to do an affordable makeup tutorial for you guys. A lot of these products I have used in multiple videos before, and you can find these all pretty much at the drugstore. I didn't want to grab anything from like an indie online brand. I wanted to stick specifically with drugstore items that you can find at CVS, Walgreens, Target, Walmart, wherever else you buy makeup at. That's at a 7-Eleven, that's fine. And as you guys know, I'm still in school, so a lot of the times, you know, I want to look presentable. I I want to look good like I want to look awake I want to make sure my professors know that I am putting an effort to look presentable in class because I'm ready to learn I'm not dead to the world I got a contour I got a highlight well not right now but you know what I mean so we're just gonna go to get started I have everything pretty much laid out my table is messy as hell but it's about to get messier but it's okay it's fine this is the process but before we get started as always make sure to subscribe to my channel it's that pretty little button down there that says subscribe make sure to give this video a thumbs up and without further ado let's go to get started on today's tutorial you're gonna find that I have a lot of Wet n Wild products in here. I'm just gonna say that right now. So before anybody's like, oh my gosh, why are you using all Wet n Wild? They are good. They are good. Don't disrespect. This is my drugstore makeup routine, not yours. All right. So for primer today, we're gonna be taking the Wet n Wild Cover All Primer. This is just supposed to hydrate and kind of smooth out the complexion. I'm gonna add a little bit more because this is actually really hydrating right now. As you guys know, I am normal to dry skin. For foundation today, we're going to be taking the L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible Foundation. This is in shade 209 Caramel Beige. What I like about this foundation is that it's a nice medium coverage foundation. You can build it up to a full, which is what I'm going to do in a second. So if you're somebody who likes to do like a beat face, honey, and like the hydration from this foundation, um, this is, I mean, it's such a good foundation. Today we're gonna to be taking both Wet n Wild Photo Focus concealers. I have a light medium and then medium tawny. We're gonna go ahead and apply the medium tawny first and then we're gonna go in with the light medium on top, just on the outer parts to really brighten up underneath the eyes. And then I'm gonna take that Wet n Wild makeup contour stick that I uh, use all the time in all of my tutorials and we're gonna go ahead and just contour the outer parts of our face. So I like to blend out the contour first just because sometimes I've noticed after I blend out my concealer and then I start blending out my contour shade, it'll kind of run into the concealer and then it'll just kind of darken my face too much. So I found that if I just go ahead and blend out the contour first and then go into my concealer, I can go ahead and clean up any mistakes that I made. If I went too far in with the contour shade, I can easily just take it with the concealer brush. And then I like to take what's left on whatever side I'm working on and then just clean up right underneath the contour shade to really sharpen it up. So next I'm going to be taking the NYX Illuminator. This is in shade Ritualistic. A really pretty drugstore highlighter. I don't know if they make this highlighter anymore. Oh my gosh, hold on. So we're going to go ahead and set our face today using the Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. This is in a Translucent Extra Coverage. This is like a staple drugstore setting powder. Like if you don't own this in your collection, you should add it. And then next, I'm going to be taking the NYX HD Studio Translucent Powder. This is very similar to the Makeup Forever one. So I will say, if you are going to be taking flash photography, this is not the powder for you. It causes so much flashback. But if you're somebody who's just going to be going to class or just going to be running some errands and you're like, well, I want to blur out the skin and look phenomenal, this is a really good translucent powder from the drugstore. And it just blurs out the complexion really nicely. So I'm going to take my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and I'm just going to go ahead and just tap that right underneath and kind of just bake a little bit. Next, I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder Foundation. This is in shade Tan Beige. One of my favorite drugstore powder foundations. This stuff is awesome. Doesn't cause any flashbacks. The coverage is really nice. I like to use this like on a daily basis when I'm not doing like very important things and I just want to add like a little concealer and just set everything. This is what I'll use. All right, so for contour today, we're going to be taking the e.l.f. Contour Palette. This is the bad boy right here. So cute. Can you tell which shade I use the most? And 
And then I'm gonna take a smaller brush. This is the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. And I'm gonna take that same shade and just go ahead and contour my nose. So I'm going to go ahead and take the NYX Contour Palette, and I know that we just contoured the face, but really what I want to use it for is this bronzer right here. I don't find this to be more of like a contour shade, I find this to be like the perfect bronzing shade. And so I'm going to just take this guy right here, and we're going to go ahead and just use that to warm up the face. For blush, one of my all-time favorites this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine. So for highlighter, we're gonna go on top with a different highlighter this time. I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. I forget what this one is called. It might be called like Canary Canopy, possibly. I don't know, but I'll leave it down below in the description box and I probably have the name like somewhere right here, so. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the eye portion of this video. As you can tell, I did one eye off camera because I was like, what am I gonna do? I knew that I wanted to play with this eyeshadow right here from NYX Cosmetics. It's a really pretty, just like, I wouldn't say duochrome, but it does definitely has like a reflex of like a goldish silver in there. Um, but it's that pretty teal color. And that's basically the eyeshadow that's kind of inspired this entire look. So I'm gonna go to take my e.l.f. contour palette. I'm gonna take this shade and this shade, the deeper contour shade here, and I'm gonna use those for my crease colors. There is a brown in that NYX palette, so we are gonna use it in a second, but I just wanted to add like a nice soft contour to the eye. I'm next gonna take that brown eyeshadow and just pop that into the outer corner, to really deepen up the entire look. I'm gonna take my concealer and I'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting the crease right now for the eyeshadow that's gonna go on the lid. And I'm just using that Wet n Wild, the medium tawny shade, the one that's closer to my skin tone. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the outer part with my finger just to smooth it out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this eyeshadow right here and just apply that all over the lid. Do you see that? Oh, it's so pretty. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take this eyeshadow right here for the inner corner. I'm next gonna take my pencil brush and I'm gonna pick up this eyeshadow right here. It's like a nice, just deep red. I'm next gonna take the black eyeshadow that's in the palette right here and I'm gonna go ahead and just pop it into the outer corner and then just blend that outwards and creating a wing. And then right underneath that black eyeshadow, I'm gonna go ahead and just extend the reddish shadow. So for lashes today, I'm gonna be taking the Ardell 113s, one of my favorite pairs. They used to be part of the Glamour line, but I think they discontinued it, and then they moved over to the 113s, the Wispy line. And what I like to do too is just kind of hold them up like this. That way they kind of flare upwards and not so much downwards. Oh my gosh, my eye just starts tearing up. You know when it, like, it starts to tear and you're just like, please stop? but it doesn't stop and it just keeps going and you're just like I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of black eyeliner into the waterline I originally had a gold pencil that I put into my waterline and I think that's what kind of made them um, sort of like red and teary so it was this NYX gold shimmer eye pencil um, so I just I don't know I think that's what made my eye kind of tear up so don't put it in the eye but instead I'm gonna take the Maybelline unstoppable liner in onyx and I'm trying to use this as a mirror that's not gonna work. I almost forgot mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some mascara. I'm taking the L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a little bit of that teal shade that we used. I'm gonna pop it right there, right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more of this shadow. Things just sometimes apply so much better with your fingers rather than a brush. Cause do you see this right now? Do you see this? This is not filtered. This is not a joke. This is not a drill. This inner corner highlight is giving you realness right here. Oh, okay. So I used the, the that inner corner highlight as like my actual highlight. I took that right on. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what I did was as I took that shadow that we used for the inner corner and I was like, let me just see what this looks like. Do you, 
Do you see that? Oh my god. Let's move on to lips. Alright, so for lips today, I was totally debating on different shades. I was kind of thinking like maybe this like cranberry shade, this more of like a reddish brick shade, and then this like bright pink, and I was like, mm, I don't know. And then I remember that I had this Milani Color Statement lipstick in Teddy Bear, and it's honestly one of those shades that's just like, ugh, so pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this sucker on, and if you don't already know, the Milani lipsticks smell like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Alright guys, and that is the end of this makeup tutorial right here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see a part 2 to another affordable makeup tutorial, definitely leave down in the comments below if you guys want me to. As always, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I try and post weekly here on my channel, so definitely if you want to see more of me, click that subscribe button. It's that beautiful one down below that says subscribed if you haven't already. And until the next tutorial, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you later. Bye!